right, so today we have a little taste test challenge that Nala's gonna do for us. She's our oldest dog and most pickiest eater. So this is some new stuff. Um, it's by Jinx and it's um, some ultra premium kibble for adult dogs. This is probably has some of the best I've seen in any dog food um, that are dry or any dry kibbles. So we're gonna try this out for whenever we have to um, put them in hotels or just when we're too busy now with the baby to try and kind of supplement the diet that we do. So I'm gonna do, you know, rough estimation. Um, all the instructions on how much to play here, how much you should feed. Um, it has a thing for old food, new food. For us, her normal food is raw, so. Either of these, usually, I mean, we never really have too much of an issue with them transitioning. Usually, it's like a dog if you've had them on a certain food for uh, like a couple of years, and you try and transition, they might have horrible diarrhea in that transition process. These guys switch food all the time, they switch proteins, no issues, hard poops. So, when we do feed dry kibble, you gotta add some water to it, try and make it more like. Oh my god, a fly attacked this one already. Make it more like a raw meal right here. So we're gonna do, try and plop these down at the same time. So I'm gonna put this camera down first. That's the jinx on the left. Oh, she went straight for that now. Let me try a test and see if I move it. Wow. Let me try lifting it up and see if she'll go for the generic. You don't care about this? No, there's other food right there. Oh, wow. She's extremely picky. She actually doesn't even eat kibble all the time. So even if we do have someone that doesn't want to go through the process of feeding raw, we have to prepare simple stuff for at least Nala, like for my mom or something. If we're gonna be out of town. Because she'll just refuse like certain kibbles. This is a generic, very generic brim. Uh, you can find it at any store like Walmart and stuff. We used to feed it to uh, stray dogs in Mexico. And this is Jinx's ultra premium salmon uh, blend. I mean, so far, the taste test, there's no competition. Let me see. I'll try a couple more tests. I'll lift it up. No, there's more food right there. You don't care? All right, the last test to see is if she finishes this, is she gonna go and try and eat that as well? So if she finishes this and does not touch that, that is just hands down ultimate victory <laughs> for this Jinx brand, which is what I expected from reading ingredients and reading what their company is about. Yep, a sniff. You'd rather lick up the scraps of the Jinx than even touch this. sweet potato recipe. It's kind of similar to what they have at Costco. I'm going to try doing the test against that one. I don't think it has a chance. Even the smell of this stuff. It smells so fresh. It smells like you've just gone fishing actually or like bait almost. <laughs> the generic kind of smells like burnt. Like burnt corn. So it doesn't really even have it. You can't tell what kind of meat is in there by the smell of it at all. And what's really bad about this generic is it has food coloring in there and all this crap. I 
kind of glad Nala didn't eat this. I'm gonna use the same dish probably to do taste test with the other four dogs, so. Yep, we'll see how that goes.